years, the most of all the news of God's word. Amen. As we continue on in our service, you may be
glorify your name, God. We thank you, God, for the opportunity to stand before your people. Lord, I ask God to forgive me all my sins. I commit to you, Lord. Cleanse me and strengthen me, God. Lord, stand up in me, Lord, that we may hear our word from you. Lord, we honor you, we thank you, we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. And then we have to the praise of the Lord. Divine tactical strategy. <clears throat> in this life called Christianity, we must realize we are engaged in the battle, in this battle called spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. We have an enemy that's constantly coming up against us. Therefore, we must face each day with a tactical strategy to defeat the enemy. Because Jesus is playing Satan is our enemy and has petitioned to have us to sift us as wheat. Mm -hmm. One thing we must understand that he can't just attack us. Amen. He has to get permission, permission from God to even mess yeah. with us. Right. 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 I'm going to be proved to you. Chris, go to Job verse 1, chapter 1. On, How many know that Satan hate us? Amen. Amen. And I hate God that's in you. Right. And so we wake up each and every day fighting. Right. Anybody other than me? Mm -hmm. Fighting every day. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep this flesh in check. Yes. Jesus. So I don't know about you, but some days I wake up, I don't feel safe. No. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up, I don't even want to act safe today. <laughs> I walk on a job, say, better not say that to me today. <laughs> you say something to me today, you're going to get this business. <laughs> Well, uh -huh. I mean, come and be honest. Sometimes that color will be right at the tip of your tongue. Well. So if that's around and push the wrong buzz today, they gonna they gonna look at me. I thought you were safe. Yeah. But it's a constant battle every day. That's why when I wake up in the morning, I say, Lord, I thank you yeah. for another day. Yeah. God covered me that I don't act a fool today. Because yeah. right. some of y'all in the world, y'all act a fool. Some of us, y'all act the fool since y'all have been saved. Can I get one with us? Say something I ain't had to say. I had no business saying. Sometimes it ain't what you say, it's how you say it. Because some of y'all nice, nasty. So you can tell the truth. So we have to get up and pray every day. In Job verse 1, through verse 1, it says, There was a man in the land of us whose name was Job. Not job, Job. And that man was perfect and upright and one that feared God and shoot evil. Drop down to verse 6. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them. Keep on, we're going to go to 12. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence cometh thou? Uh -huh. Then Satan asked the Lord, he said, From going to and fro in the earth and walking up and down in it. And the Lord said to say, Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man that feareth God and escheweth evil? Yes. And say, and the Lord said, Do Job fear God for not? Said, Do he fear you for nothing? Right. Keep going. Has thou, has not thou made an hedge about him and about his house and all that he has on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his substance increased in the land. Mm. So basically, you tell God, God, Job, see, everything you, that you touch, that Job touched, you have blessed it. Mm. You have increased him. He rich, he got money, he got stuff. That's why he served you. And if, if the devil said that about you, can you? see, it's one thing. What do, what do you do when God offers you to be tried? You to be uh, tested. Uh, Right. And God read his resume, said he's a perfect man. He's upright, said he fears God, and she is sure of evil. Uh -huh. Can God say, have you tried my servant Charlotte? Mm -hmm. Have you tried my servant Mark? Mm -hmm. Have you tried Dickie Hill? All mm -hmm. oh, right, man, he loved God. That's right. Yeah, give him some sickness. Uh -huh. Let him lose some loved ones. Uh -huh. See, God, so Satan said, you just, you just serving God because he's blessing you. 
Don't be, don't be saying that because of stuff. Because stuff going to come and stuff going to go. Come on, tell it, sir. Amen. I wish I had a witness to go to that money. But put forth thy hand now and touch all that he has, and he will curse you to your face. Mm. So, so, so we know Satan is the accuser of the brother. Yeah. So we telling God about you. He said, take what they got and watch them stop serving. Because yeah. right. I'm even going to mention some stuff and we ask God why. God, why me? Why am I going through? So God asked, why not you? Right. Did I put my spirit inside of you? Yeah. Did I anoint you? Yeah. Did I anoint you with power? Yeah. Did I give you the gift of the Holy Ghost? Yeah. Why not you? Yeah. You a prime suspect to go through this trial and through this test. Because oh. folks are watching us, and if you and, and if you serve a God and you don't make it, what hope do they have? Right. 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 Yeah. See, we got to realize we're in a war. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Keep going. And the Lord says to Satan, Behold, all that he has is in thy power. Only upon himself put not forth thy hand. Mm -hmm. And Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. Because one thing we've got to understand about Satan, he don't care about your wife, he ain't interested in being married. Right. He don't care about your kids, he ain't interested in having no kids. Right. But one thing that he does know that they are attached to our hearts. Right. So if I want if, if I want to discover the man of God, let me touch the wife and let her talk to him crazy. Because uh -huh. <laughs> let me tell you something. Don't nothing. You can love a man, but a man doesn't need your love. He needs your respect. Yeah. Say it. Because a man it. will leave a woman that loves him for one that with that respects. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wish I had it with me. Yeah. So here's my thing. He'll, he'll touch your children why? Because they attack to your heart. And if my children are going through, guess what I'm going through? Amen. 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 So he said, everything he has is yours. Amen. He said, you just can't lay no hands on him. That's right. And I may know that as he was speaking, one can't. Hey, all your children were killed. Mm -hmm. You lost all your, all your cattle. You lost all your livestock. Wow. Job lost everything he had mm -hmm. in one day. Mm -hmm. So my question to you, can God take everything from you and you still say, bless him. the Lord give it, the Lord take it away. Bless be the name of the Lord. Jesus, Jesus. I'm telling you, you got to look at that and hit me with your best shot. Because I'm in it to win it. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to hold on with, see what the, what the end is going to be. Because I know that if God, if God trusted me to go through it, he's going to give me the power to endure it. Yes, which sir. I have to win. Say that he can't just he can't just touch us. He got to go get permission from God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. And one thing I've learned, one thing must realize that God offers us up to be attacked. He's also going to supply us with the tools to be successful. Amen. Amen. Right. If God allow you to go through, guess what? Mm -hmm. He got enough power to give you. The, he got enough tools. And it's awesome to give you, make sure you're successful. So sometimes you got to keep going and in spite of. Because yes. I, I believe God no matter what. Because for God I live, and for God I die. He's been too good to me. He brought me out of too much. Come on, we know we should have been dead a long time ago. But by His grace and by His mercy, God has allowed us to come in here to give Him glory. So I got to come in here and give Him glory. I got to come and give Him praise. Because then if I told you what God has brought me through and what I has come from, then you would give God a praise for me. Just needed. Just needed. Because Bible said, there has no temptation taken you, such as is common to man. Yeah. But God is faithful. faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. But will with the temptation also make a way of escape uh -huh. that you may be able to bear. Uh -huh. I said the temptation gonna come, but guess what? I'm faithful. Yeah. I'm gonna bring you through this one. Oh, and when the enemy comes in like a flood, oh, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard oh, and listen. So come on now, give me what you got. I believe God's gonna bring me through this one. Yes, Lord. Come on now, take I know I seem like you, you don't know how you're gonna get out. But one thing I've learned, you got to have faith. Because the Bible says that 
Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Who that come to God must believe that He is and that He is a reward of them that diligently seek Him. I don't care what they say, I don't care what the situation looks like, but if I believe God and I'm standing on that. I wish I had a witness. Crazy how we believe folk and won't believe God. Thank you, thank you, brother. Thank you. Come on, you've been through this before. Yeah. Did he bring you out? Amen. But it's not true for something. If you did it before, he'll do it again. Because he's faithful. He won't leave you, no forsaken. He said, No, I'll be with you even to the end of the age. Yes, yes. God got your back. Look at the next day. God got your back. What shall we say? He said that if God be for us, who can be against us? I don't care. Sickness may be racking, your body may be racking with pain. But baby, I, you got to look at that pain and say, I guess what? I believe God. I believe I'm here. We got to start speaking out of our mouth that we can believe. Because if we speak and call those things which not as though they were, guess what? Sooner or later, by and by, baby, you just going to happen. Amen. <laughs> So when we look at tactical strategy, strategy is the action plan that gets us to where we want to go. And tactics are the individual steps and actions that will get you there. So I'm going to wake up every day with a, with a tactical strategy. A lot of people fall for it because they don't know the devil. He has power, but God has all power. I don't know if anybody plays sports. Hallelujah. Anybody's in the military. Mm -hmm. And when you play sports, guess what? How do how you know you're how you going to defeat your enemy? You study film. That's right. You're going to look and see what, what their weaknesses That's right. What their strengths are. Come on, what they're going to do in this situation. Come on. we got to right. understand. See, then we'll understand is, is, is the devil got limited power. Tactical. But we got to realize that devil, the devil has also been in heaven. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we know how things he operate. Know. That's why we got to study our word of God because the Bible tells us everything that we're going to go through. There's nothing that happens on this earth that God don't tell you about in Scripture. Amen. Amen. And why, why, that's why the Bible said, and we shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. God is telling us, but sometimes we're so lazy we don't want to study our Bible. No one really can't understand. No, they got so many versions. I don't care if you speak Portuguese, they got it in that language. Right. It's going to break it down for you. Amen. But say, she stands before God and said, let me get Wayne. And he's going through right now. There ain't nothing but a distraction. My God. Because he can't stop us from getting saved. Right. He can't stop us from worshiping God. Right. But he can distract us. Right. He wants to shut our mouths. Yeah. Because how I many know that your victory and your breakthrough is in your praise? Right. How your healing is in your praise? Yeah. When, when I ain't feeling myself, yeah. I ought to come through the door giving God glory, giving God some praise. Yeah. Because if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, I'd still be messed up. I'd still be running the street. Yeah. But by His grace and by His mercy, He saved me. I ain't who I used to be. Amen. Because one thing I can't stand cute folks. <laughs> Come in church and just hey, what do we think? act like God ain't dead. No, man. Cute folks. I don't know what the good old folks say. He hey. kept me from danger seen yeah. and unseen. Yeah. You don't know what God protected you from. You could have gotten that accident. Yeah. But by His grace and by His mercy. Yeah. So start complaining when you get caught by the train. Yeah. Sometimes it's a divine delay. Yeah. 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 Going through something later on. Oh, I I had to win. Oh, yeah. We trying to make Christianity yeah. hard, but it's so simple. That's right. Yeah. We gotta learn how to give God thanks for everything. Yeah. 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 Tactical strategy. Yeah, yeah it's, it's tactical. Yeah. yeah. So we gotta sit back. Oh, that's good. I want to Jesus preached a simple message. <laughs> the gospel is so simple that it makes it hard. Move on. Can I get with it? But the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, let's say 
she get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant mm -hmm. of his devices. How many feel with the Holy Ghost? Amen. Amen. So if you feel with the Holy Ghost, the enemy should never trip you up. Mm. Because the Holy Ghost is going to reveal to us all truth. Oh, wow. I mean, something told me not to go this way. Something told me not to go this way. The Lord told the Spirit of God it told you this. Don't do this. The Spirit of God told you, don't you say that. Because you say that, then it's going to cause a, a reaction. And then when I can't believe it, I can't believe they did like that. No, what did you do? The one thing we have to learn about being saved, we got to learn how to be accountable and responsible. If I hadn't did that, this wouldn't happen. So say he can't get advantage of us. Because we are not ignorant of his devices. But his job is to destroy you. How do you destroy us? Destroy us in your mind. Come on, how many minutes my mind is playing tricks on me? Wish I had it with us. But the thing I like about it, it said, Jesus said, but I have prayed for thee. Pray, yes. yes. That thy faith failed. Yeah, I know Pastor Mark, he's a prayer, he's a prayer warrior. Hey, Amen. I know a lot of prayer warriors. Since Christine, since Hughes, prayer warriors. I appreciate you praying for me, but it takes on another level when Jesus said, I pray for you. Yeah. Oh, he's sitting at the right hand of the throne of God. He yeah. has direct access. Father, I know they said this, but this is what they meant. He said, I pray for them that their faith fail not. Because he's not after, he's after your faith. Because your faith is the only thing that we have that's going to please God. Despite what the world said, I believe God. Despite what the situation looked like, I believe God. Because guess what? If I believe God, God's going to come through every time. Amen. Amen. He said, but when thou art Hallelujah. Amen. converted, mm -hmm. yes. strengthen thy brother. Mm -hmm. So 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 what so what so the end game, God wants to convert you. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, because a lot of us got saved. How I many know that he saved, he saved us and he's constantly saving us. Yeah. Yeah. He feels that he's constantly filling us. Yeah. Yeah. So every day, it's what it's a new battle, yeah. and guess something. Sometimes I may lose the battle, but you better believe that I'm, I'm intended on winning the war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know God is gonna bring me through this one. Yeah. So sometimes when you just wrap with pain, you can't move. So I just lay there and say, Lord, I need you. <laughs> one thing I learned about God: you ain't gotta be cute. You ain't gotta be. You ain't gotta be deep. All you got to say, Lord, I need you. Because yeah. God looks at your heart. Yeah. Yeah. And when he looks at your heart, then he'll move on your behalf. Yeah. I don't care what you're going through. Amen. Hell, I high water, but Lord, I need you. Yeah. But say, Lord, I need thee, oh, I need thee. Yeah. Every hour, I need thee. He said, I cried unto the Lord, and he heard me. Yes. 
Yes. Amen. Anybody been there? You been crying to the Lord? Yes. See, some of y'all been crying lately, recently. God said, I hear you, and I'm coming to see about you. Yes. I'm coming to deliver you. Yes. I'm coming to set you free. Yes. Stop worrying and keep praying. Yes. Start giving me prayer. Because one thing I found out, I've been doing praise and worship now for about 20, 20 some years. Even when I don't feel like it. I come in here and start giving God glory, that weight start lifting off. Yeah, there you go, sir. Yeah. It start lifting off of me. And then by the end of the Sunday, well, you know what? I feel all right. Yeah. It's something about see, because there's power in your prayer. For God inhabit the praises of his people. He looks for it. He knows what you're going through. He said, but yet they're going to pray me anyway. I got a blessing. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Yeah. He said, but when thou art converted, when you change, that's the hardest thing for us to do. Change. Change. Yes. Not just stop this. Stop doing this. Mm -hmm. Gotta do that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, God, how am I going to do that? <laughs> so I've been doing this for so long that I'm stuck. Right. But God said, He's put something on the inside of you. Yes. There's an anointing on, on the inside yes. of you. And ready to break out. Ready to bust out. Folk on your job looking up to you. Because folk know who know God and who don't know God. That's a fact. Have you ever been on your job? Folks say, I need you to pray for me. Why? Because they know they see the God on the inside. Yes. So we can't fake to the baby. You got to know what's on the inside of you. got to know. That's right. And that God wants to use each and every one of us. In 2023. Jesus. Oh, man. Because it's been a struggle since 2020. Mm -hmm. When COVID hit. But it took a lot of them that got knocked around a little bit. But God said, in 2023, I'm building you up. And you're going to be someone I can use. Woman of God. Man of God. God wants to use you. Your family is dependent on you to serve God. Don't worry about not coming. Don't worry about children not coming because guess what? Sooner or later it's gonna hit them. Mm -hmm. That's right. My mom, I grew up, grew up in church and didn't want to get saved. Didn't get saved until I got to Jacksonville. Twenty-four years later, <laughs> all of a sudden I was like, I was talking to a guy. He said, "You want to get saved?" And before I could even think about it, I said, "Yeah." Mm -hmm. <laughs> November 11, nineteen ninety-two. I gave my life to the Lord. Amen. And I have been in church all my life. Amen. Don't worry about it. Say, we train us. Man, you stay focused with God, going to do something great for you. He wants to use you. He said, I see your heart. Your heart wanted thing is to let go and let God. Amen. And watch God turn your life around. Yes, 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 yes. yes. God wants to do some things through us. Go to um, Chris, put up First Timothy four, fourteen through sixteen. This is what God's going to do to convert us. It said, "Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery." Keep on. Med meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them that thy providence may appear to all. Mm -hmm. Take heed unto thyself. Somebody say, look at me. Look at me. And unto the doctrine. Continue in them for doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. God didn't anoint you for you. Mm -hmm. He anointed you. He went and told Abraham, he said, I'm going to bless you and you're going to be a blessing. Amen. So that's, that's how the enemy traps us. We want because we can't be saved and selfish. Jesus! Yeah. Yeah. You gotta want to give Jesus away. We want people to old taste and see that the Lord is good. Yes. And blessed the man that trusted in him. Yes. I was once young and now I'm old and I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Amen. No seed baby bread. So I don't care what dilemma you're going through, God wants to use you. Yes. He wants to come through. He wants to see you blessed. He wants to see you prosper. Amen. He said, Brother, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper mm -hmm. and be in health, 
even as thy soul prosper. So if you ain't prospering yet, look at your soul. Yes, Check, check, check. Yeah. Like you to as your what? As your soul, soul prosper. So if your soul ain't prosper, guess what? You ain't gonna prosper. Mm. 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 It's good. So, so this is divine mm. tactical <laughs> strategy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I must wake up each day mm. with a mindset that I'm going to please God. Yes. Yeah. I want to bless God. I want to bless someone with God. Yes. So everywhere I go, I need to tell somebody about this man named Jesus. Amen. Amen. I said, God changed anybody in there?
standing strong in the Lord and the power of his life. You know what God has given you to do in order to make it through the things that you got to go through. For me, it was learning to lean on Jesus and not lean on myself. Not lean to my own understanding. But after I learned how to lean on him, I gained more power than I've ever seen. Amen. Learning to lean on Jesus. There's someone in the house that's trying to work some things out in your mind. You're trying to work some things out in your heart right now. And you feel frustrated. You're chomping at the bit trying to see what God has to say to you. If you're in the house today, you just need someone, a point of, of contact on today. To where the saints of God can pray with you. Can fight through with you. I want you to come on down to the altar today. If you just need some clarity of your mind, God, what is it that you have? What is my purpose? How am I going to get there? Come on down, come on down, don't be ashamed. Come on down. At some point, the frustration is going to get <laughs> more than we can say. I'm not telling you something that I read there. I'll tell you something I know. Sometimes the frustration can be so great because you hear God's voice, but you can't make it make that, that, that word get down to your feet. To where you can come on, for sakes of God, come on, time to pray. All the prayer warriors, come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Come on, if you're in this house. And you just want to hear God's voice a little bit clearer. You need to hear what they're saying the Lord. God, I hear you. I hear you calling me. I hear you calling my name. No, I know I got some situations in my life. I know I ain't perfect. But God, I still hear you calling my name. Help me, Lord. I lost some stuff. I, I lost some stuff in this life. Come on, bring, bring them all down here. Bring them all down here. Come on, y'all come on forward. All right here. Come on, prayer warriors, start praying. Anoint them with that oil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've given up some stuff. I've been tried in the fire. <laughs> Woo! I've been tried in the fire. And the enemy's coming to try to take my stuff. He try to take my joy. He try to take my peace. Come on down. To the altar. Father, we need you today. We need you today. We need you today. We need you today, Lord. We need you to speak to our hearts, speak to our minds, Lord. Give us that divine tactical strategy that we need in order to win this battle on today. Even when I'm weak, God, you promise to make me strong. When I'm torn down, God, you promise to build me. God, help me, Lord. To lean on you just a little bit more. Help me, God, to lean on you more than I lean on what I've always leaned on, God. Keep the crutch out, Lord. Don't let me move in the direction that you have. That's sanctified my life. But I sanctify you, Holy, oh God. Make me put on you, so God. Set me aside for your holy purpose. Help, oh God.
demons told me to chase out. That when the Lord began to speak, it was hard for me to move in the flow of what God was having me to do. But when I just asked God, God, would you touch my ears? Somebody lay your hands on your own ears. Lord, touch my ears. Help me to hear joy and gladness. Help me to hear the word of God. And you sing over me in the midnight hour. Help me to hear, oh God. Healing for my soul. Help me to hear. And I don't need to leave. money that you have blessed our yes, church Lord. with, God. For God, these things is only for you, God, and for your kingdom, God. We want to thank you for the money, God, for those that gave, for those that didn't have to give. May you bless those, God, and multiply their finances and their money as well, God. We want to thank you for these things and many more. In Jesus' name. Amen. We will now have our church announcements. 
Serenity Christian Fellowship Building Fund. Money raised so far is $13,200. Let's do our dues. Singles is $750. Couples is $1,500. God bless and let's have a wonderful work week. For those that are not coming to church that you haven't seen in a while, let's try to reach out to those. You know, with a phone call up, you see them out in the streets or around town. Just tell them that we miss them and it would be good to have them to be reunited with us in church. Because church is our helper. And it is also our healing of our lives that we have to battle and go through on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's keep those in mind. Amen. And uh, we are praying for those uh, absent parts of the body. Uh, Mother Emma Lou Murphy is still uh, not feeling her best, so continue to pray uh, for her. Anybody else that we're praying for for, for sickness, Sister healing? Cobb. Sister Cobb? Sister Rhea. Sister Rhea, all right. All right. Thank Thank Mrs. Mary Thomas. Ms. Mary Thomas, my mother Mary Thomas. Yeah. And Sister Lee, she tried to come to church this morning, but she had to wish her love and have our brother Lee back to the hospital. Oh, uh, Lord, have mercy, bless him. Pastor Pastor Brick. Pastor Daddy Brick. Daddy. Uh, Daddy Brick. Daddy Brick. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Daddy. We're definitely praying for him and his wife and Anthony Deep as well. Amen. 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 To heal your body as well. But let's all stand on our feet. Uh, after we dismiss, I need to see the executive uh, committee for just a little bit. So we talk about anniversary. Somebody say anniversary. 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 It's on the way. It's on the way. We want to be the best ever. And also, I need to speak to Sister Brenda. Uh, before you leave today too, ma'am. Well, Father God, we thank you for everything that you've said and done in this place. And we ask that what you've done to us and done for us on today, that we wouldn't leave it tucked under our seats here in Serenity, but we would put it in our hearts and take it with us as we go. Allow what you've done, God, to plant seeds that will grow to be fruit for us in the days to come. Help us to be bigger, better, and stronger for you. And we promise to give you all the praise, honor, and glory that you are so richly of. Now that the words of my mouth Words of my heart. The meditation of my heart. Meditation of my heart. Be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. My strength. My strength. And my redeemer. And my redeemer. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. See yourself this place. Hug five or six people on your way out. And they'll have you in civility with me.